Now, when it comes to seeking structure, this is actually one of my favorite things to talk about because I have so many problems when I'm shopping online. How many of you have gone to an e-commerce site? You go to purchase something. They ask you to enter your credit card. You enter your credit card and it tells you, ah, sorry, there's something wrong. It wasn't approved. Check your credit card number. And you have a big blob. Just like this. How easy is it to find that one number that's incorrect? Not so much. In fact, you probably have to scan it several times and be very specific. Now, how many of you have also been to e-commerce sites where they actually have each of the four-digit numbers separate like that? Which is easier for you to correct? Yeah, the one that is, that is separated. This is much easier for us. So you want to keep that in mind. Now, which is easier to code? Uh, the yeah, the blob. Right? The blob is easier to code. Now, on occasion, you'll have people who say, well, you know, for computer security, we keep it as a blob. Yeah, which is easier for a computer to read and process? Yeah, the blob is probably a little bit easier if you have to actually code it. Because you have to worry about, about you know, the space or you have to worry about different fields. So you want to keep in mind who you're designing for, in this case the humans. Now what about telephone numbers? Let's look up here. Who remembers how we have a tendency to remember telephone numbers? Do we tend to remember one digit at a time? No, we don't. We tend to break it up. How do we usually tend to break it up? Right, area code, the first three numbers, and then the last four numbers. Right, that's how we tend to store this information, process it in our mind. So which of these do you think is easier for us to figure out what our phone number is, if it's correct? The top one, right? Much, much easier. And if your friend is giving you a phone number, which is easier to memorize? The bottom one is much harder to memorize. The top one, it's already broken up into these pieces that that's how we're used to thinking about phone numbers. Makes it much easier. Sounds so obvious, right? Yeah, so why do we keep running into problems? What do you think? Yeah, because we're not designing for who? The user. the user. See, I told you, by the time you get out of this class, you're going to be repeating that over and over and over again. You'll have dreams of me for the rest of your life. So if we look at a couple of other examples, you know, date of birth, broken up nicely, makes it a lot easier for us than having a blob. It's even nicer if it will automatically jump from one box to the other. Right, because how many of you, okay, date of birth, you type it in really quick and you're still in the first box. Like, oh, that didn't work. So, again, think about the user, not just in terms of breaking it up, but that added code that can help them quickly enter and read information. Now, there are other ways that we can provide structure, make things easier, such as, yes? Just going back to the phone number thing. Uh a reason, I guess, that they may start as one long string is to account for numbers out of the U.S. because sometimes they're longer. Like, I know we have to do it in my business. So I would like to format it, but uh, we don't really have that option sometimes. There, you know, if you're dealing with phone numbers out of the U.S., that's definitely an issue. One of the things, although it's more difficult because now you're dealing with international numbers, is that some companies will actually... Um, have a completely separate section for the country code. So that's an option. Now that's not as easy as it is, you know, it's easier said, and said than done. It's not as easy as it is dealing with, with domestic numbers. Um, but if you have uh, lots of time to code, just something to think about. But, um, but there, actually that's an example where here, again, you have to try to balance things out. 
in terms of what is going to work best for your product and how much time do you get it to work. Okay, so data specific controls. How many of you remember the days before they had pop-up calendars? Nobody? Okay, one person. Yay, I'm not alone. There actually was a time where when you had to enter a date in a form, you had to type it in. I know, it's a shock, right? These days, of course, we have the little calendar icon. Now, there was a time where if you didn't want to use the drop downs, you had, you know, if you wanted to see the calendar, you had to click on the calendar icon. Now, you'll see that in a lot of applications, there's an even shorter step. You just click on any of the drop downs, and up will pop the calendar. Makes it really, really easy. Makes it very, very simple. But occasionally, you'll still have one where you click here, and where's your calendar? No, oh, I guess they didn't code that in there. So there are things you want to think about to make things easier. So in that case, the person who came up with, let's have a pop-up calendar, great idea. Think about ways you can make it better. It provides us with a structure that we're used to. Email address. This one's really interesting. Right? There are some who will argue that you have it broken up very nicely. It'll make it easier for people to type. What do you think? A lot of you are shaking your heads. Why not? It's broken up, right? And we say we want structure. What do you not like about it? It's too much structure. <laughs> too much structure. So when we're typing our email address, what is the habit that we have? You write it all together, including the at. Right? What happens when you do that here? You end up with two ats. So it would be Fred at at bedrock dot whatever the drop down is. Com, com. com, net, edu, whatever the other bazillion ones are these days. TV, name. So you also want to be very, very cognizant of what really is going to be easier. In this case, too much structure actually makes it more difficult for the user. So remember, the whole thing you really want to focus on the most is your users. 